So before I start talking about the genus Diphylobotrium or the species Diphylobotrium latum, uh, I would like to talk about the difference between cyclophyllid and pseudophyllid sister. So basically, we are starting all the parasites under two order. One is cyclophyllidia and another one is pseudophyllidia. So the parasite that are under this order, they are known as cyclophyllid cystoid. And similarly, those parasites which are under this order, they are considered as pseudophyllid cystoid. So if you know the common characteristics of this of these two order, then you can apply those features when you're going to study about individual parasites. So the first one, first differential point, the scolex. So you know that uh, in the cyclophyllid cystoid, there are four suckers. And on top of this uh, structure, there is a cone-shaped structure, which is also known as rostellum. And in this cystoid, this rostellum may be, may possess hooks or without hooks. If there is hooks on this rostellum, they're considered as arm cystoid. If there is no hooks on the rostellum, they're considered as unarm cystoid. But in case of the pseudophyllid cystoid, there is no suckers on them. So instead of suckers, they will have brothria. What is brothria? Brothria is the muscular fold and the function is same. That is, they are also used for the attachment with the host. Next differential point is the neck. So in case of the pseudophyllid parasite, the neck is well developed, that is conspicuous. But in case of the pseudophyllid, the neck is less developed or inconspicuous. Next, we're gonna talk about the reproductive organs in cyclophyllid and the pseudophyllid. So you can remember, uh, a cystoid can possess a uh, single set of genital organs or double set of genital organs. If you look at this picture, you can see there are two sets of genital organs located in each of the proglottid. So in case of the cyclophyllid, cyclophyllid parasite, they may possess either single set of genital organs such, an, such as uh, tenia solium or tenia cezinata, and even they may possess double set of genital organs, such as Monigia expansa, Monigia venideni, Diphalidium caninum. And what about the parasite under this suborder? So you can see only one set of genital organs uh, in each of the proglottid, uh, in case of the pseudophyllid cystoid. And the next one is genital pore. So as this parasite may pauses uh, either one set of genital organs or two sets of genital organs, so genital pore could be one or two. But here, only one set of genital organs, so only one genital pore would be there. The next differential point is arrangement of the vital area. So in case of this uh, order, or parasite under this sub uh, order, uh, the vital area is compact. That is, they are not scatteredly located throughout the segment. But in case of this parasite, that is uh, parasite under this suborder, this vital area is located scatteredly throughout this uh, segment. You can see, if you look at very closely, you can see some of the Dots, white dots, uh, they are actually the vital area, and the black dots, they are uh, actually the testes. So, in the for this parasite, the vital area and testes uh, distributed throughout the segment. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Cystoids under these two suborder, they have uh, some unique characters in their egg. So in my introductory lecture on cystoids, I have talked about uh, the morphology of a typical egg produced by the cystoid. If you can remember, this is one of the eggs of the cystoid. 
So they have different parts or different layers uh, in their eggs. The first one is it's called MRAF4. So you can see there are six hooks. That is why they they are some uh, they are also known as hexacanth embryo. And this is encircled by a layer which is called oncospiral membrane. And the next two layer comprises uh, that is this two layer. They known as embryo four. And after this embryo four is encircled by another layer which is known as uh, capsule or eggshell. So based on this embryo four, characteristics of the embryo four, we can differentiate uh, who, uh, the eggs of cyclophyllid and the pseudophyllid. For this uh, parasite under this group, the embryo four is striated. But here the embryo four is ciliated. So due to presence of this structure, the, uh, this is also known as that is ciliated embryo 4 is also known as coracidium.